Hey, Dave Kaminsky here at Web Video University. And when most people start shooting video on camera like I'm doing here, what they find out in a hurry is that it's actually pretty tough to say what you need to say without screwing up and stumbling over your words. And that's when people will turn to teleprompters. Now, a teleprompter is basically what the TV news person uses to read the news to you each night. It's a computer which has some software on it that allows your pre-written script to scroll across the screen. This computer gets attached to the actual teleprompter unit, which is a second monitor facing the ceiling and then a plate of glass at about a 45 degree angle. And this monitor shines up on the glass. It reflects so the person can read it. The camera is actually behind the glass, but the camera will not pick up any of the text. It only sees the person. So the person can sit there. They can read from the teleprompter without having to memorize anything. And the camera picks up everything as if the teleprompter isn't there. It sounds great, but there are a couple issues with teleprompters. First up is price. Even an El Cheapo teleprompter is going to cost you about $700. The decent ones are going to cost you $1,500 or more. The second issue is all of this equipment is kind of a pain to set up. You've got a computer and the teleprompter and you need power sources and all that stuff. And then once you're done with it, you need to break everything down. So it's just a hassle to work with teleprompters. But thankfully, last spring, Apple came out with their new iPad and iPads are actually great to use as teleprompters. And that's because they can replace the second monitor. It can replace the computer. All we need is the glass and some type of mounting device. And then we can use the iPad to actually serve up our script. And iPads have become so popular as teleprompters that there are even commercial iPad teleprompters available. These run from anywhere from $600 up to $1,000. And that doesn't even include the iPad. That's pretty ridiculous because all they're giving you are some plastic and a piece of glass. But I'm going to show you how to build your own iPad a teleprompter using the box that your iPad came in. The first thing we're going to do is make some modifications to our box. So you want to open this guy up and you'll notice inside that, you know, they have the perfect iPad holder and we're going to use that. But what you want to do is remove this insert and it is glued or taped down. So it can be a little difficult to remove. So be gentle, but you want to remove this guy and then we'll set these off to the side. And then we're going to take the top of the box. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a portion of the box and this is where we're going to put our glass or our mirror that's going to reflect and we also want to cut out this side and this side of the box. When you're done it should look something like this where you've got the top cut out and each side cut out. Please note that I did add duct tape around the edges here just because I didn't want the cardboard to be so frayed and it does add a little bit of strength to this frame. And be careful during this step when you're cutting out the box top because you only have one iPad box to work with. Next, we're going to take our glass and add some Velcro strips to it. And then we're going to press the glass onto our box top like you see here. Now I want to point out a couple things about the glass that you use. First of all, I'm using a piece of glass that is eight inches by 10 inches. You can go to any hardware store and have them cut a piece of glass for you at that size. However, if you're just using normal glass, what you'll find is that with your teleprompter, the text will be a little bit blurry or fuzzy. And if that doesn't work for you, what you have to do is step up to what's known as beam splitter glass. And this is what the professional teleprompters use. And what this glass really is, it's a regular piece of glass and it's got a mirror like coating on it. And what this mirror like coating will do is it will make the text crystal clear. Now, a lot of people will tell you that you can go to any glass store in your town and, and tell them, Hey, I need some beam splitter glass and they'll give it to you. Well, it's more than likely they're not going to know what in the world you're talking about. So if you run into that, what you can do is what I've done here. I had some old window film laying around that had some mirrored tint to it. And I just applied it to my teleprompter glass. Next, you want to place the top of the box with the glass on top of the bottom box and you want to angle it at about a 45 degree angle. You just want to eye things up to make sure that if you were looking directly in here that you'd be able to see text rolling across the screen. Once you have things lined up, you can take a pen and mark the inside of the box. I've taken some more Velcro and placed it inside the marks that I made on my lid. Now what you want to do is take your box top, line up the marks that you had on the sides and then just press and that will go ahead and secure the top to your bottom here. Now, depending upon the weight of your mirror, you might get a little sag. It might not be too sturdy. If that happens, what you want to do is what I did here. You just want to add a couple strips of duct tape and that will secure things up very nicely. This is actually uh, pretty secure right here. 
Now when I add my iPad, you can see here that it reflects in the mirror and everything looks good. We're all set to go and I could just use this as is. However, it's likely that you're going to want to put your camera on a tripod. So let me show you a quick way where you can mount this so you can use it with a camera on a tripod. Instead of mounting our teleprompter to a tripod, which can be a real pain to do and can make your tripod top heavy where it might tip over, well, we are going to mount it to a regular light stand instead. Now, if you don't have a light stand like this or you don't know where to get them, if you go to Amazon or eBay or Google and type in photography light stand, you'll see lots of light stands just like this one and they'll run you maybe 15 or $20. You wanna make sure that you get a light stand that has a tip which is a quarter inch screw, and that's because we're going to use this tip to attach our teleprompter. What you wanna do is cut out a piece of wood about the size of the bottom of your iPad teleprompter, and then add one of these guys. This is called a wood insert, and you can get them at any hardware store for about 50 cents. And you wanna make sure that you get one that has a quarter inch female thread. That way we can attach it to the quarter inch top of our light stand. And to attach this wood insert, you're going to pre-drill a small hole, and then it just screws into the wood. Screw it onto the top of the light stand, add some Velcro, and then add your teleprompter. Now, because you've got your camera on a tripod behind your teleprompter, you can adjust your camera however you want so it gets right behind the glass perfectly. And then as your final step, what you'll want to do, especially if you're in daylight, is you will want to take a towel and you'll want to place it over your camera and just over the top of the teleprompter. And what that will do is that will darken things behind the camera so you'll be able to see the text much better in the mirror. Now, in case you're wondering, hey, where do I get the software for my iPad that does this scrolling text? Well, it's an iPad, so what you want to do is go into the App Store, type in teleprompter, and you'll see several titles that you can choose from. So that's how to build your own iPad teleprompter using the box that comes with your iPad. It won't win you any awards. It's not perfect, but it doesn't cost $800 either. It cost me about $5 in parts. I already had a light stand. Otherwise, it might cost me $15 or $20 more. Very simple to do. You should be able to complete this in about 10 or 15 minutes, and it absolutely will get the job done. I'm Dave Kaminsky of Web Video University.